Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Quick tip, the painful stretch in calf raises is a growth zone. This is one of those tips that when you implement for me, you're going to hate me during and possibly right after and possibly still for a long time, but you're going to love the results and maybe me. Folks, that's all I ask. Just love me. All I want is love. Is that that much to ask? You don't even need to spend money. Don't even worry about going to RP, you know, on the website and buying products. Love. That's the real currency. In any case, a uh, long-time hypothesis that mo many folks who are sort of reading literature in hypertrophy and strength training had is that stretch under load was very hypertrophic, caused a lot of muscle growth. It is when you stretch a muscle out to a long muscle length and you impose a shitload of tension during that time, it probably causes more hypertrophy than like imposing tension at any other part of the muscle length, including like when the muscle is short. So for example, if you put a lot of tension here in the bicep, it maybe grow the bicep more than like having a lot of tension right here. The reason it was a hypothesis is like, uh, I don't think anyone derived this mechanistically, but there were a few studies uh, really fucked up if you think about it, where they took like uh, birds and they fucking stretched their wings out. The bird loved it. The bird didn't love it against its will. And when they imposed tension at the, uh, you know, bird wings or whatever, it actually yielded a shitload of hypertrophy. We didn't know for a while if that was like um, a type of hypertrophy that only occurs in animals because there are actually different types of hypertrophy that occur in some species that don't in others. And uh, some of the human studies just didn't transfer. But recent re research builds on this current concern consensus that milking a super deep stretch might be even in some cases, even in many cases, more effective than even full range of motion. <gasps> Crazy. Do we need to change the name of the Full ROM Forum and Team Full ROM? No, because the whole thing's a fucking joke anyway, but kind of neat. And at the very least, exploring a deep, painful stretch in a variety of exercises is a good idea. Now, here's the thing. Calves profoundly easy to use a ton of weight to impress dot, dot, dot. Nobody. Nobody gives a flying fuck what you calf raise. And the people who know shit actively look at you in disdain because you took all their 45s that they were using for actual exercises. Almost everyone that I've ever seen do calves with a shitload of weight with a small range of motion, avoiding the deep painful stretch, has small calves that never change. So fuck that. We're going to try to get growth. And here's how we're going to try to do it. Go a bit lighter something you can handle to a full range of motion for a set of like 20 reps or so. You want to milk the painful deep stretch and even pause at the bottom. So if you're doing calf raises, okay, you start here and you go down and you go slow. Pause, ow, up, down slow, pause, ow, kill me, up. Just like that, milk in that deep painful stretch. A cool thing to try is your first set do with like 20 to 30 reps, close to failure. And then as soon as the lactic acid is washed out of your calves, like as soon as there isn't a burn, go again, go again, go again. So you're taking 10 second breaks. Do, well, like if your first try, do three sets of this. You probably won't walk for a week anyway. Don't do like nine. Eventually you can work up to doing like seven or eight sets in a row. The really cool thing is like because you're resting only 10 seconds, like your fucking shit gets done really quick. Like you're there training calves for three minutes and you fucking blew them up. You're going to get an unreal pump and it's going to be unbelievable, and it will very likely lead to your best calf growth, right? Don't thank me during, because you're going to hate me during, right? This Dr. Mike is a fucking asshole. This hurts my soul. Fuck him. Afterwards, you're going to get a huge pump, and you're going to look at your calves in the mirror. You're going to see that vein you like. You're going to be, uh, you have these bulbous calves, and you're going to be like, Dr. Mike knows some shit. And hopefully a few weeks later, your calves look a little bit more like that when you're just walking around. And listen, let me tell you, people have lied to you throughout your life. They say people judge you for your looks. Bullshit. Nobody cares how you look. They judge you for your fashion. Like, oh my God, he's wearing everything at Walmart. Folks, if people judged for fashion, how the fuck would I wear? So I'm wearing a Team Evil GSP shirt. Shout out, Brado Chavez. But normally I only wear shit from Walmart. You think a fucking, fucking man of my status would wear only Walmart shit if I knew I was being judged? Uh-uh. People they say they judge you on your physical appearance. That's almost true. People only judge on one thing. How big are your calves when you don't have a pump? They look down. You never notice, like, when you talk to people, like, hey, uh, is this restaurant open for reservations right now? And the lady's like, uh-huh. She only says, uh-huh, if you have big calves. Actually, if you have big calves, she's like, of course, mister, and then she knows your name already. If you have medium-sized calves, she's like, oh, let me look at the schedule. And if you have small calves, she goes, uh, no, this restaurant's closed. And like, I see people eating right now. She's like, it's close to you, you small calf fuck. Get out of my face. 
See you next time.